Thyrotoxicosis is the condition of excessive thyroid hormones in the body due to any cause. Hyperthyroidism is the term given when there is overproduction of thyroid hormone by the thyroid gland, and thus leading to thyrotoxicosis. The terms are however used interchangeably. Here are 10 pearls in thyrotoxicosis. Pearl 1, exogenous thyroxin intake suppresses thyroglobulin, so doing thyroglobulin levels is a useful test in diagnosing factitious thyrotoxicosis. Thyroglobulin levels are also useful in monitoring the treatment of thyroid carcinoma. Pearl 2, if there is painful goiter with thyrotoxic symptoms, think of subacute de Corvain's thyroiditis. Unlike other causes of thyrotoxicosis, isotope scan of the thyroid in this condition will show low uptake. Pearl 3, there is no evidence of increased cancer, birth defects or infertility in women with radioiodine therapy. However, pregnancy and lactation are contraindications for this therapy. Pearl 4, eye disease may be the first presenting sign of Graves disease. And the patient does not necessarily be hyperthyroid, but he or she can be euthyroid or hypothyroid as well on presentation. Pearl 5, smoking is a major risk factor for the development of eye involvement in Graves disease. Smoking cessation is therefore an important measure in the treatment of thyroid eye disease. Pearl 6, in thyroid eye disease, an afferent pupillary defect may indicate optic nerve compression. Therefore, seek expert ophthalmological advice immediately, as decompression of the optic nerve may be needed. Pearl 7, low TSH does not always mean hyperthyroidism. During systemic illnesses, TSH can be low along with low T3 and T4, and this is known as sick euthyroid syndrome. The thyroid functions should therefore be repeated after recovery. Pearl 8, in a clinically thyrotoxic patient, but with a normal T4 level, perform T3 levels also. Because 1% of patients have T3 thyrotoxicosis. Pearl 9, free T3 and T4 are biologically active hormones. So perform free T3 and free T4 levels, and not total T3 and T4 levels, which are otherwise affected by the levels of thyroxine binding globulin, for example total T3 and T4 are high in pregnancy. Pearl 10, if thyroid peroxidase antibodies are positive in Graves' disease, there are increased chances of development of hypothyroidism at a later stage. So screen with periodic TSH monitoring. That's all for now. See you with the next video soon.